Hi guys, this is Fenshi and today I want to share with you a tip that I think is going to be really useful for you how to dehaze a footage. So this tip is also a bonus tip from the presentation I have done on the ResolveCon 2024. If you want to see the presentation, the playback of the presentation, it's on Casey Farris YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to see it. It's one hour just on composite mode and I think it's going to change your life. So I really advise you to watch the presentation before you watch this tutorial just because I'm not going to explain everything about composite mode in this video. This already has been done in the presentation. This video is only a bonus tip to complete my presentation that I have done in ResolveCon. So you can pause this video, go watch the presentation and uh, when you're done, just come back and enjoy your tutorial. Okay, now let's go to the tutorial. So guys, very quickly, this is the bonus tip from my presentation that I have done for ResolveCon. Uh, so this bonus tip is something that actually I think is very useful for you to know and it's about how to handle dehazing a footage. So sometimes I can have footages that are very hazy because I mean like it depends on when it was shot, if the smoke machine could be on and uh, this is maybe the first take just after the smoke machine was on. So sometimes it's very, very hazy and we need to decrease the haze to make sense in our film. Normally when you dehaze a footage, what you uh, normally do uh, would actually to go to effect and uh, type dehaze and uh, take the OFX plugin uh, that is dehaze and put it over your footage. And so after uh, you're going to have a dehaze effect and you can just like reduce uh, or increase the strength of the dehaze. I don't really like to use it that much just because uh, I will have an increase of saturation that I don't find that is pleasant. So if you see, for example, if I leave it at the normal strength, uh, I'm going to have an increase of saturation that actually doesn't at all follow the look that I've applied. Uh, it's more like you're going to have patches of saturation that will come out. And um, of course, like to handle a haze and to uh, decrease actually the effect of a haze you need to have more contrast and boost the saturation but then uh, the way that the saturation is boosted is not a pleasant way that I really like as um, it doesn't look natural at all. So that is why I don't really use the haze. Uh, what I use more often is actually a composite mode uh, to dehaze my footage. So uh, it's very simple. You can go like to your node. I always put dehazing nodes at the end of my node tree because this is an effect and so we want the effect to englobe all the grade that we've done before so that's why we are putting effects at the end so the haze will arrive at the end of your node tree and uh, you're going to right click on the node you're going to go to composite mode and super simple you're just going to click on soft light and so when i click on soft light of course you know i'm going to have an increase of um, contrast a very strong contrast uh, but at the same time uh, I'm going to have an increase uh, in saturation and density but um, the increase of saturation is not as digital like than uh, what I had with the dehaze plugin so here uh, my saturation follow pretty well uh, the look that I have applied before uh, if you see uh, what's happening in the colors it's more saturated but at the same time uh, this is way denser and so then uh, we have still the logic of the look that we had before so uh, this is actually pretty good i would say because then as i said before my real issue with the dehaze plugin was that that the dehaze plugin in the saturation was not following what i was doing before it so uh here then to just make our dehaze more believable we're just gonna decrease our opacity and for 
To decrease the opacity, you need to be in the key menu and uh, in the node key uh, output. And so you're just going to decrease the gain. So it decreases the opacity of the node. And we're just going to put it at uh, something like 0 0.5, so 50%. And so if you see, this is the image that we had before we apply a dehaze operation and now this is what we have when we apply a soft light and we decrease the opacity and you can see that it looks actually pretty natural and uh, it uh, bring back the image together with less haze around. That's the bonus tip. Why I thought about a bonus tip is just because uh, I was color grading today and I caught myself using this for the hazing and I was just like oh my god this is so simple I should just like tell my community about this because this is an issue that I had a lot before before I was uh, able to know what composite mode could do and so then like having this I think can really help in some situations guys so uh, that's why I'm doing this bonus tip today and yeah that's all for me. See you guys.